Alright, day seven, which is not really seven because six was like a half day and whatever. Um, got the wheels on. So that's really simple, so come take a look at it. Um, hopefully from this angle, pointing that way. So it's a piece of angle here and another piece of angle. And those two were welded together. And then, well actually they were tack welded together, uh, um, opposite to what it is now. So these two faces were with each other and I used a hole saw to drill a one and three eighths inch hole. And that was really actually really easy with a hole saw. Uh, I just used a handheld drill and it came out fine. And then I welded the spindle. Well then I took it apart, took the tack welds off, welded these together, the pieces of angle, and then I welded the spindle in, um, taking care to make sure everything was good with that. And then I put, after that was done, I put this, I tacked it on here, I put this piece, this is actually a leftover piece that I had from when I cut uh, the height of this piece off. It was actually a little bit taller. So I, the piece that was left over I put here as a support and then we put this piece of angle in here. I uh, kind of finish it off and we've got hubs and a spindle from surplus center. That you can see on my page. And then I put these wheels on. They're pretty fat wheels but they were 10 bucks each so you can't beat that price. Uh, the feet have been put on. So the feet are here and there, and that's just for when it's parked, and it's uh, just a bolt, a tightening bolt there to lock that piece of angle in. That's pretty simple. Um, and that's all welded to this piece of quarter inch plate, uh, actually quarter inch angle here. And that serves the purpose of being an attachment for the feet bracket as well as um, reinforcing this main frame piece because we had our doubts about its sturdiness. Um, and we also put in two more of these tabs here and here just, in case, just uh, because we were worried about this main piece bending um, between here and this gusset. So that should take care of that, I think. Um, Finished welding the hitch on. That was a piece of cake. And I think that's about it. That's new. So, yeah, it's good to have. God, that was just welded. It's good to have wheels on. And actually, not squeaking because I greased them. So that's good. And the uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm starting on the seat posts. So we're working with this funky fence posting. So I took a couple pieces of that and I, what I've done is I've just clamped it together in a vise. And I'm gonna weld just like, maybe like an inch or two on the inside of this vise and then do the next bit, inch or two, inch or two, inch or two, inch or two. And then we'll have that as a uh, arm that can raise and lower for the seat. And I think I'm gonna do it in almost the same way that I did the wheel spindles. This is going to have a pin through it, and then you'll have like a pin through it here, so a point of rotation like here, and then a bolt um, that goes into a nut right here, so you can um, uh, raise or lower this um, about this point here by tightening or loosening a bolt, and I think that that'll work. Um, so yeah, that's about it for day seven.